When Canadians think about Afghanistan or see images of Afghanistan, they most likely associate them with war, with conflict. When I think of Afghanistan, I just think of the war that's happening. Beaucoup uh, d'occupation militaire, roadside bombs. Les édifices brisés, injustice, où les droits les droits humains sont pas respectés. Quand j'entends moi vient du temps, je pense vraiment aux droits bafoués. Country suffering. Like poverty and like terrorists. You're not seeing the average person. You're always seeing like the most extreme because that's what makes news, right? shoemaker making shoes, the people selling spices, the colors and the smells of a vibrant city, of a vibrant community, and of a people that see hope for their future. I spent a year working out of the provincial reconstruction team in Kandahar as a public diplomacy officer. My job, uh, in many respects, was to help people in Canada better understand what Canada and Canadians are doing in Afghanistan. So we started this project called Kandahar Through Afghan Eyes. And the project uh, basically is to train about 15 students in the skills of photojournalism. Through this, we had an opportunity to see the way that Afghans, the way that Kandahari youth see themselves and see their lives is very different than the images that tend to be portrayed to Canadians back home. Attached to these are narratives or prose in the form of poems frequently that help you better understand the way that some of these youth feel about the images that you're seeing. The important part of this project was that they learn tangible skills that they can then use as either an opportunity to, to generate income for themselves, to generate revenue, to provide potential jobs. We first launched Kandahar Through Afghan Eyes in Kandahar City at what was called the Pomegranate Festival. This is a festival that celebrates life, celebrates culture, and most importantly celebrates poetry. The photos themselves are absolutely astounding. I mean, who would have thought that you would see an image of two soccer players in the middle of this bright green pitch wearing soccer jerseys as an image that you would see coming out of Kandahar City? So after Kandahar, the exhibit opened at the Colonel Bai High School in Ottawa. It was fascinating to watch Canadian youth engage and bring them a little closer to the lives of Afghan youth. I think it's important to show this exhibit at our school this year because I find that um, a lot of young people know what's going on in the world around, so they know what Canada is involved in, but I don't think they have a deep insight into it. But I think this exhibit showed there are real people over there who have real lives. After the launch in Ottawa, the exhibit then moved on to Toronto, where it was showcased at the Afghan Women's Organization. These are basically the way of life in Afghanistan. It shows to Canadian people that this is how they live in one way, this is how they make their living. We want Canada and Canadian to see that there's not only war in Afghanistan. The tendency with the media is always to talk about negative things. It is not like that. There are a lot of positive things that happen in Afghanistan and there is a big hope uh, uh, for the future for the Afghan people. The Kandahar through Afghan eyes really does open our own eyes. It gives us an opportunity to get a window into a perspective that we will never ever really get an opportunity to see. Uh, because most of us won't get a chance to visit Kandahar or Afghanistan. My hope is that young Canadians in particular will find a way to identify through these photos with Afghan youth and with the lives that they lead on a day-to-day -day basis.